Hawk picked out his own outfit this morning, button-down shirt and bow tie to boot. He later asked me to make him a cup of tea. What is that that Grayson has? Um, diaburst. What is that? It's a starburst. A starburst? The starburst goes like this. Is that, is that what you bought for Grayson for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, that was a great choice. Look, she's trying to she's trying to get to it. Do you think you could share it with her? We have to hide <laughs> Hey guys, Hawk and I just got back from the thrift store. We went to Valley Village to look for an ice cream scooper to help with muffin making, but we didn't have any luck finding an ice cream scooper. We did, however, find a couple of other awesome things. One being this towel here, which is gonna go in his and Gray's bathroom. It's got a cute little snowman on the bottom of it there. So that'll be awesome, nice and festive. And we might even use that through January and February as well, since it's more kind of winter related as opposed to being specifically Christmas related. So that was great. And then I also found a giant flat sheet with reindeer on it. I'm not actually going to use this for sheets though. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this flat sheet, I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna make Christmas bags out of it. So everybody's Christmas gift this year will be wrapped in a Christmas bag made, uh, made out of this reindeer material. So one way that we can hopefully make this Christmas a little bit more environmentally friendly and minimize the use of wrapping paper. For those of you who aren't aware, wrapping paper is incredibly unenvironmentally friendly. Most and wrapping paper can't actually be recycled. The majority has to be thrown in the trash. So for the little bit of time that the gift is wrapped in it for, is it really worth it? I know it looks super cute. I get it. I do. My wife would side with you for sure. She's all about the wrapping paper. But if you can use a gift bag that could be reused multiple times, or if you could do another type of wrapping that's a little bit more environmentally friendly, maybe even using the paper that comes inside of some of the packages that you've received, that brown packing paper, wrap gifts in that, and then you can either color on it, paint on it, put some nice bows on it, etc. Food for thought. Think about it. In addition to those two things, Hawk did a little bit of Christmas shopping. So he ended up finding a very cute little carousel toy for Gray, and then he picked out an awesome gift for Jen. And I know she's really, really going to like it, and he did pick it out all by himself, so I'm really proud of him for doing that. I would love to show you guys, but I have a feeling she might watch this video. But. I don't want to ruin the surprise because he is very pleased with himself um, for his find. Okay, when we got back from Valley Village, there was also a package on the doorstep and it seems like it is stocking stuffers. I could be wrong, but it looks like it is stocking stuffers. And based on what I see in the package, I think the stocking stuffers are for Hawk. So I'm assuming that Santa is just super overwhelmed this year with the pandemic. And I imagine that's probably why he dropped this package off on my doorstep. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that is going to be going into Hawk's stocking this Christmas. And if there's anything else that you think that a three-year-old might like, let me know and I'll pass it on to Santa and we'll see if maybe Santa could bring that on Christmas Eve to add into his stocking. So few things. First of all, Hawk is a sugar monster. So he's got these little strawberry filled sticks. He also really loves strawberry flavored things. So I think that he will quite enjoy that little snack. A little bit more sugar are some jelly beans. Then a little bit of creativity. There's this scratch art by Melissa and Doug. It says for five and up, but he really has been working on his uh, penmanship and fine motor control. So I have a feeling that he will be fine with that. And I think that Santa knew that he would be okay with that as well. So he's got that to work on. 
He's got some more little magic minis. These things are phenomenal. They're perfect for on those warmer kind of days where he just needs a little bit of extra, um, a little bit of warmth, but not too much. Then there's a new set of coloring pencils. These ones appear to be from Ikea. And there's also a sharpener that comes in it. There's also these guys. So these are his, his sleeping undies. He already has one pair that I got him that have dinosaurs on them. And Santa knows how much Hawk loves unicorns. So he picked up a pair of the Mother E's sleeping undies for Hawk as well. Uh, if you wanna know any more information about these, please comment down below and I will make sure that I get back to you. The company that makes these are called Mother E's and they are Canadian. And the last thing that will be going in his stocking, unless Santa adds something else, will be this here. And he's got very, very chapped lips. So he is getting his very own skull lip balm. And I think that he will really enjoy the fact that this lip balm is in a skull shape. So that's everything that's going in. If you can think of anything else that should go in a three-year-old stocking, please do comment down below. And I, like I said, will pass that message on to Santa. Tonight, we're planning on heading down to the waterfront because there is a big light festival happening down there. So if we do, I will make sure that I bring you guys along with us and get a little bit of footage so that you can join in on the festivities with us. We'll see you later. We made it down to the light festival. Hawk and Gray both had good naps, so we were able to head down and we had a great time checking out the lights. Can you see anything, Grayson? <laughs> Yeah, turn around and look at mama. Okay, let me, this one, let me take a second.